In this video, I'll show you how to set up a Java project using Gradle and Git for version control within IntelliJ IDEA. It's easy to get some of these integrations wrong, and if you do, it can have bad cascading effects for your team. So let's make sure we start off on the right foot. I'll make a new project. I'll choose Gradle and Java. Name the project. And this will bring up the main IDE window. And in a moment, the Gradle subsystem will start up. There it is. After it does some initial configuration, what we'll end up with is a view of a default Gradle project. There we go, there it is. Uh, so now let's set up version control. In the VCS menu, I'll choose Enable Version Control Integration and Git. What that does within the IDE is give you a new panel here called Version Control. So I'll click on that tab. And right now we can see that the entire project is unversioned. Uh, all of these files are unversioned. However, some of these files we do actually want to put in version control, again primarily so that the other members of the team get the same configuration. So I'll select these four, and I'll right click, and then from the Git menu I can choose Add. Now there's a directory here called Gradle, and within it is the wrapper directory that contains the wrappers. We want those also, so I'll right click here, and from git, choose add. This comes up with a warning because of this jar file. Normally jar files are ignored in git. Uh, however, we do actually want to track this. It's a best practice for Gradle projects. So I'll say add. All right, so now if I look down in the default change list, I see the six files, which are the ones that I do want to have for my Gradle configuration. What's missing here, however, are the IntelliJ IDEA configuration files. Now, there's a little trick we can use to make the IDE help us here. I'm going to start the commit process, and then just cancel it. That prompts the IDE to give us this pop-up. In fact, sometimes it shows up in other situations, but that's one trick to make it come up. Uh, it says, project configuration files can be added to Git, and yes, we want to do that, because the other members on the team are going to be using the same IDE. So I'll click on View Files, and that's exactly what I expect to see, so I'll click Add. Now my default change list contains not only the Gradle specific files, but also the IntelliJ IDEA specific files. That's what I want. So now I will actually commit these. Initial commit is a conventional commit message. Make sure you set your git author properly here. So this will be your given name, followed by your email address in angular brackets. You saw that mine had a pop-up there, and the first time you enter it, you'll have to type it in, but then after that, you'll get an autocomplete. So I'll go ahead and commit this. And that's it. I've got my initial commit set. That's all I have to do to get my project up and running. I hope that's helpful to you. Happy programming.